Hi everyone, it's Lana from Living Wildly Free and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be um, cash stuffing for the week of, gosh, what is it? Week of May 15 to May 21. So if that's something you'd like to see, keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, it's Monday today. It's been kind of a crazy week. I did get some new binders and I did make a whole bunch of new envelopes, but I don't know. It's like after I did it, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. But while I chat, let's go ahead and empty out my wallet. I have some extra coins here that uh, I had some orders that were cash on delivery, so that was kind of the change that was left over. And yeah, it's been kind of a crazy week in a way. Um, probably not completely, I just, I've been so focused on trying to get my new system kind of updated with the new envelopes and I've been focused on getting my, what do you call it, my um, budget planner, which is kind of here. It's not complete, it's not ready because I made a mistake on some of these inserts, but once I get it together, which I have, I just have to punch it, maybe I will go ahead and make a video for you guys so you can see what it looks like. But anyways, yeah, basically the past week has just been making envelopes and trying to create my budget binder because as you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, I tried to do the digital planner and I did not like it at all, not one bit. So. I'm a paper person and I love paper, so I said, you know what, let me go ahead and make my own paper planner for budgeting. So it's kind of late, it is 8.20, so that's why I'm a little bit low bat, but oh, and I did get a new piggy bank for my 20s. You will be happy to know, it's so cute, it's shaped like a Lego. Unfortunately, we have no 20s here today, but we do have a lot of, gosh, a lot of ones. These are all ones, yes, let's just be sure. Yep. But you know, you guys, this is quite a lot already. And I, I didn't start not too long ago, so. I'm actually tempted, maybe, I don't know, am I gonna wait the whole year before I bring these to the bank? <laughs> yeah, I guess I should, right? I mean, it's not as if they're expiring. We can just keep it and keep collecting and see what we are left with. Now you might notice I have two 500s in my wallet, which I don't usually have. And that is because I had to make some uh, for the some of the shopping I ordered. They needed change, so I decided to take the five hundreds and make change from my envelope. So that's how we have it. And this is our leftover from last week, which is five, six, seven, eight, eight forty which is not bad, you know, I haven't really done much with it. So let's go ahead and start with the rollover. And we are April, May, we are May. And you can see there's actually not a lot in here like the months before, but that's okay because, you know, the rollover, it really, it just, it's extra cash, so at the end of the year, you know, it will be a surprise to see what's left over. And here's kind of a little glimpse into um, my new binder 
but this is changing once again because I ordered different ones because I don't know for some reason it's glitter and I know I like the glitter but it's not my favorite at the moment like now that I'm I'm trying to put it together I don't know what's going on but I don't love it but I added more binders because I wanted to try having more envelopes because I started to panic where you know I don't have really any other savings and I realized you know I might need a birthday envelope I might need some Christmas envelopes so yeah I decided to go ahead and just make everything that was you know on the top of my head and these are my new envelopes I kind of miss the feathers but it's okay but here is my frustration. My hole puncher decided to go crazy on me. So the holes, I don't know if you can see it. I had to double punch it. So it's quite frustrating because I'm happy with, with these envelopes. It's nice, it's minimalist, but oh, I just wasn't paying that much attention when I was punching because I was doing it late at night and you know, really shouldn't do that. So let's add to my daughter's prom dress. If you notice, I did take some cash out of here because she, uh, we had to pay for her shoes. Her shoes arrived and we, she also ordered some, some jewelry. So we had to pay for that five, six, Fifty six ninety, is that correct? Five six ninety, yes. Five. Gosh, that took a while. Okay. Five. What? No, six ninety. Gosh. You can tell it's late. Okay, so six ninety. Let's go ahead and. Add that in here five and then we have all these 50s and 20 so let's go ahead and just double check one two three four four five five that's five thousand fifty one fifty two fifty three fifty four twenty forty sixty eighty one that's five hundred forty so that is five, 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 forty. Am I correct? Seven, one ninety plus five sixty minus one seven minus one two plus six ninety. Five, five, forty. Yes, correct. Okay, so, so. It's still, you know, you guys, I started just from getting half of my rollover in March and it's, that's a lot from just March and that was the end of March, March, April, May, almost two months and there's already five thousand in here it would have been more if we didn't buy the shoes or the jewelry yet but you know what she's using that for prom anyways and that's what we're saving for so that works out great okay now let's go ahead and grab my cash for this week so we have week three and I have yet to go to the bank to fill out the rest of this I will have to go hopefully this week, because I do need to fill up my car wallet and I have to put in my daughter's allowance, which I have yet to do. So, yeah, we need to get some things done. Five, one, so that's 1,000. Let's do it this way so it's easier. 1,000 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
that is one five plus one five, then fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty eight fifty plus eight fifty. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, plus 120, 3, 4, 70, which I need to change and bring it back to 3, 5. That reminds me, which I will, now that I've printed out my, my binder, I should be able to keep better track of it. And of course, as usual, I don't have my little cheat sheet with me. Oh, okay, so we will pull out one of my old ones, which is why I really did need my binder already because this was getting kind of crazy. So where's my wallet? Starting off with Yummies is getting one five hundred, three hundreds, one, two, three, and four fifties. One, two, three, four. So that would be five, six, seven, eight, fifty, nine, fifty, one thousand. Okay. So that is going in there. Then Starbucks is getting two twenty which I need to up to 250, but I guess we will just do that on when I'm able to go to the bank and also fix my binder. So that's one, two, 20. Because like I said in the other video, it's strange. I think they raised their prices, but then when I got Starbucks the other day, it was back to the original price, so I'm confused. But I don't mind changing it up to 250 because that's what it was originally i was just getting change and you know it will go to the rollover anyways so family fun is getting 500 300 so one two and three and four fifties one two three and four so that's one two three fifty four fifty five hundred and now we're coming up to splurge. And you know what I realized, you guys, is that I don't really get into splurge often. So what I was thinking is, I think it's in here. I made, I made a uh, envelope for splurge. And so I was thinking of, because I think majority of the rollover comes from, not majority, but a, a good portion comes from the splurge. So I was thinking since I put a thousand away for splurge, I'm not going to do it this week. I'm going to work on my binder, get everything organized and get myself situated. But I was thinking of maybe splitting that 1,000. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, where half of it goes into my wallet and the other half goes into an envelope for savings for, you know, stuff later on. Five, six, seven, eight, fifty, nine, fifty, one. And I think, you know, that might be a good idea. So I have kind of an envelope that's filling up and that can, you know, be there. For other stuff because this is more for like you know when I go out my day-to-day -day, stuff like that so that's what I was thinking not too sure one two three this is miscellaneous one two three and four so this should be five hundred one two three fifty four fifty five hundred yeah so I think after doing this for what March yeah two months has it just been two months that's kind of crazy but after doing this for two months I feel like okay I need to 
look over my envelopes again and kind of figure out what I'm doing and see if there's a way to organize it better and so I can have, I can fill up under other envelopes and, you know, I'm supposed to slowly add more envelopes, but I guess I got excited making the envelopes and trying to get my binders in order that I just made a whole bunch. But you know, it's trial and error. You have to test it out, see what works, see what doesn't work, change it up. I, and that's the great thing about this system is that anytime you feel it's not working, you can change it up to make it work for you. So last one is giving and that is one, two, three, four, five. That's 100, 200, and 250. So. That is everything for my wallet this week. And yeah, so that's about it. I wanted to give a big shout out for you know my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing it really means a lot and thank you everyone else who is you know still subscribed to my channel it it is you know wonderful to have you guys with me and I miss your comments so if you have any tips or anything you'd like to share let me know down in the comments and yeah that is it for this video Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and maybe even hit that notification bell so that you can be notified for when I upload more videos like this. And if you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like. I will probably be posting a video on my, I don't wanna call it budget planner, I wanna call it wealth planner, and hopefully I'll be doing that soon. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, Happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you had an amazing day. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye.